Hello friends, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Budget with D, and on this channel we talk all things cash stuffing, budgeting and small business related. So in this video we're doing slightly, slightly? <laughs> In this video, we are doing something just a little bit different. Normally I do cash stuffings or things like that, at least in the recent videos I have been. But today what I'm actually gonna do, which was actually suggested by one of you guys, today we're starting with a penny saving challenge, but what I'll be doing is basically condensing it so that I can get rid of the smaller amounts and tick off more of the higher amounts. So I've already gone ahead and added all of this up to save us a lot of time. <laughs> so what we've got is 97 pounds 22. You can see the glare's a bit awkward. 97 pounds 22 is for all of this. So all of these little ones here uh, up until there. So it's for all of this. So that's what 97 pound 22 looks like if anybody was curious ignoring these ones. <laughs> but yeah, basically what I'm gonna be doing is erasing all of this and then I'm gonna be marking off as many of these as I can using this 97 pounds 22 that we've saved over here in the lower amounts. And then at the very end, I'm also gonna be adding what I've been putting away over the last few well, the days or the, the past week or so. And before we jump into the video itself, if I could just ask you guys to hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button on this video because it really does help the channel and I'm very grateful for all of you and all your support and all of your feedback always. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of this now, hopefully trying to avoid this one. Uh, and what I'm gonna be using is just some acetone. This is just a special, well, I say special, it's just one that I got off Amazon. And this is one that I'm using for my resin crafts. If you guys don't know, I've recently started working with resin and you need acetone to remove it because it's so sticky and it's so messy, oh my gosh. Um, but you don't have to use this one. You can literally just use nail polish remover. I just so happen to have this one, so it's what I'm gonna be using. I have seen that there's actually other ways to clean off Sharpies off laminate paper, but this is just the way that I've been doing it and it's the way that works for me and I'm a creature of habit so I'm gonna do what works for me. <laughs> so I've just got a couple of cotton pads here. I'm gonna move this out of the way and I like to have an extra one on hand just because it does get a little bit messy so it's nice to have uh, something dry to, to wipe down. Wipe it down with. Now are we ready? And voila! <laughs> Literally as easy as that. So for all of you guys that are always commenting and messaging me asking how you can, you know, clean off your trackers, this is the easiest way that I've personally come across. And it really, really is that easy. And you can do this with all of your laminated trackers, obviously not just the ones from my shop. And there we go, so now we can start. I'm bringing back my handy dandy little calculator. And like I said, we've got 70, 70? <laughs> We've got 97 pounds 22 and it will be over 100 pounds once I add this in but like I said all I'm gonna do is go uh, from the highest to as low as we can with this so the highest amount I've got at the moment is three pound 32 so I'm gonna start off there and just work my way down. I'm probably gonna do a bit of a time lapse here because knowing my luck I'll probably <laughs> get distracted and then start doing it wrong. So we've got three pound 32 Oh wait, my bad. <laughs> so the highest one that we've got is £3.43, which is down here. Um, and then it gets higher as it goes up. So I'm gonna do it from here upwards, my mistake. <laughs> so the highest is £3.43. Wait, what? I don't know what I've done already. Right, so £97.22, take away, what was that one? £3.32. Take away £3.43. There we go, that's better. And this is actually something that I've been wanting to do for a little while now because, well, as you could see at the beginning of the video, I was starting to really run out of these smaller ones. And I do try to tick off as many as I can in one go just to try and fill it out. So this is a really great way to kind of free up those smaller amounts and fill up the bigger ones because the bigger ones are obviously always more daunting and scary. I will say though, it does absolutely stink in here at the moment because of that nail polish remover. I'm actually just gonna take it out of here because it's really uncomfortable. So I'm gonna do it like this. Shall I bring you a bit closer? Would you like to come closer and see? Is that a bit better? Gorgeous. 
Next we've got three pound thirty eight. £3.37. Oh no, what's going on there? Oh, right, going wrong already, lads. It's going wrong already. So, I'm 97.22. I'm going to have to go and try and recount what I've already put in because I've lost track yet again. This is what happens when I talk <laughs> and try to do numbers at the same time. It just doesn't work. Uh, so, give me a minute to just. I can't remember if we went any lower than that, but that's as far as I'm gonna go. So now I'm just gonna keep going and I'm not gonna talk because I'm gonna have the same problem again. So we've now got two of the highest rows completed and I've still got 60 pounds and 15 pence to mark off. So I'm just gonna keep going and hopefully we can get at least another one or two rows done, but these three pounds add up really quickly if you weren't aware, so yeah. I don't know, maybe just about. Oh, what did I do? No! Oh my God. Right, I'm just gonna go on my camera and try and rewind that footage because there's no way I'm doing all of that again. Hang on, BRB. So we were at 15.28. Phew, thank goodness I filmed these things. <laughs> what would I do without it? Oh, I don't think. And then I'm just gonna find 282 and do that one. So that is how much we were able to complete with, what was it, the first six columns being completed fully. I only filled out three of the bigger ones, but like I said, these three pounds add up really, really quick. So I would rather do a load of these small ones, tick them off, bang, 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 bish, bash, bosh, and then do another two or another three of the bigger ones because it's just easier that way, isn't it? It's a lot less daunting and just seems a lot more manageable. Now what I'm gonna do is go into here and I'm just gonna add in what I've been putting away over the last few weeks and I'm gonna do it from this end still to try and do more of the, um, the bigger ones whilst we're here. So let's do that. Considering how much cash I use, I still haven't come across any of the King Charles money. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So plus 18 pounds. So we've got another 18.70 to add. We're just gonna go on and keep marking away. At least we can finish this one, eh? that's where I'm gonna leave it. The remaining 31 pence I'm gonna leave in there as extra because if you're not already aware, I am a huge sucker for surprises. So I want to save more than the 667.95. Even if it's like an extra tenner, it's still an extra tenner that I wasn't expecting, you know? So there we go. I'm gonna pop it all into my handy dandy little tin now. So there we go, I've added all of my pennies into here. I'm gonna move that off to the side and I'm just gonna bring my binder back. Here she is. 
guys. So we can put the track back now. And then I'm also going to put this £10 into its designated wallet. And there we go, you guys. There is my consolidated, is that the right word? It keeps coming into my head for some reason and I really don't know if it's the right word or not. But this is my condensed penny saving challenge. Like I said, it's pretty wild to me still, just how many we had ticked off at the start here. And just to see it looks so bare and empty, it makes me a little bit sad, but I know that these ones add up to obviously a lot more than these smaller ones do. So at least we've got quite a lot of these big ones done now. The highest one left is three pounds and three pence love an angel number. Now with all of these three, I can go back and I can do my 1p, my 2p, 3p, 5p, and I can literally just bang them all off, bang them out. And then once again, like I said, in the future at some point, if I have to, I can condense it again to mark off more of the high ones. But I'm quite chuffed with that. I'm excited now to get back into it to mark off more because I feel like it's more motivating as well when you're able to tick off multiple at once. But yeah, that's my condensed penny saving challenge. And that now brings us to the end of the video, you guys. So like I said, I do wanna do this with quite a few of my challenges. The next one that I'm thinking to do will be my 100 envelope challenge because obviously there's a lot more money in that one. I think there's quite a lot of like the 10s and the 20s, maybe even the 30s that are ticked off, which is what I tend to put in there the most. So it'd be quite good to obviously free those ones up and then um, move it to some of the higher amounts. Basically the same as what I did here. So that will probably be coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, please do leave me a comment if that is something that you would like to see and if you have any other suggestions or video ideas for me then leave those down in the comments for me as well please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video because there is a lot more content like this uh, coming in the future and I think that's it <laughs> my mind goes so blank when I try and do these intros and outros but without rambling on as I always do thank you so much for watching I'm going to love you and leave you I hope you have a lovely day as always and I'll see you in the next one bye